Universe Universe, welcome to another episode of Robots with the Rockets. This is Bria, and today we'll be looking at how to use a potentiometer on your robot. These are used a lot in FRC to measure the positions of things like arms or anything that has a pivot point. You can purchase these at several places online like adafruit.com. We purchased a bag of them on eBay for a couple of dollars. There is a small nut on this one that can be loosened so the knob fits through an actibotics or tetrix channel hole and can be held in place with the use of a washer. Ours rotates 300 degrees, but we've seen some that rotate up to 10 turns. This is an analog sensor, so you can plug it into an analog port on the device interface module. This one returns a voltage between 0 and 5 volts to device interface module depending on how far it has turned. On this one, all the way clockwise is 0 volts and all the way counterclockwise is 5 volts. It plugs in easily, but you'll need to look closely at the device interface module and sensor pins to see how to wire it correctly. We have a bundle of wire we got from Adafruit for putting things together. On the device interface modules, the ground wire goes on the right while the 5 volt output goes in the middle and the signal on the left. On the potentiometer, the signal and 5 volt pins are switched. Unlike the distance sensor we looked at in the last episode, the relationship between rotation and voltage is linear, which means it is easy to program. We declare our hardware right here, and this is um, declared by how we named it on the phone and configured it, which is potentiometer. And then we read our voltage um, from our results. And after we do that, we go over here and right here is where we convert our voltage to percent turned or even degrees. After we're done with this, we send it to the driver's station. That's all. Bye, bot buddies.